Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on my channel. Today we'll be making a quick tutorial how to find and install mods for X4 Foundations. Uh, if you bought the game on Steam, then you will have access to the Steam Workshop where you can uh, directly download uh, mods from there and there are plenty of interesting mods in uh, the Steam Workshop. You should definitely check it out if you have the ability if you bought the game there. However, not all mods that are used, let's say if I go to my extensions uh, mod folder, you can see there are a lot of mods. Most of these you cannot find on Steam Workshop. So I'll be showing you both where to get these, how to install them, and how to see that you actually did so correctly so that you can use it in your own game. We'll be taking this video uh, out from the game and into my internet browser so that you will see where to get those mods. I will see you there. Alright, so now we are outside the game and I want to show you one site that I know of that houses a lot of X4 mods. This is Nexus Mods. If you are unfamiliar with the Nexus Mods site, it's a huge mod site for many video games. You have uh, not just the X4, but you also have mods for Far Cry. Every, every game that you see here has at least one, uh, one mod file available for download. So, for instance, there's... Jedi Fallen Order, State of Decay, Mass Effect series, Battletech series, there's actually a lot. You can see, by the way, here how many um, files there are. So you can see 475 files for Battletech, uh, Neverwinter Nights, Vampire the Masquerade, Far Cry 3, Ace, Co Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown, uh, what else do we got here? Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption, Kingdom Come, Ready or Not, Cyberpunk, Fallout, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4. You can see, by the way, Fallout 4 has 48,000 mods with over 1.1 billion downloads. And here it has 16,000 mods with 159 million downloads and cyberpunk with 6200 mods so anyways it's a lot of mods that are that are stored in a single site for most of the games that you know of definitely you're going you want to check out what these uh, mods what they do to your game but right now let's focus on our topic and that is x4 foundations now I'm going to, there are a lot of mods here, and I'm going to choose one of them. Let's go with, say, Warpact. Bidirectional reputation sync with chosen ally faction. You can ally with Xenon and pirate faction. This unlocks faction changes. The mod will not re-lock them if you choose a different ally. A matter of uh, ah, which can make doing story contest content interesting. Mhm. Mm okay. I want to download this, so I'm going to go to files over here. Manual download. Yeah, sure. You know what, I don't know if I have that mod support API. Let's choose something else. Hmm. Adds two new sectors that also give the Boron additional connection to the... I had, don't have the Kingdom's End... Uh, one uh, DLC, so that's why I'm kind of a uh, 
resizing takes the entire map of the current universe and scales each sector okay toggle upkeep missions let's see something interesting more gates okay what does this mod need updated sanctuary of darkness gate position for e to be easier to navigate to the AI what it does adds the following gates and connections to the universe one in greater reef to Atreus clouds Emperor's ride pride to sanctuary of darkness Menelaus's Osis to uh, Mercury Cardinals redress to uh, Segaris and plenty more okay I want to download this let's go ahead now you have to be uh, you have to be signed up to the uh, site in order to download and you really don't need that premium thing over here you saw how fast it goes uh, it's 1.5 megabytes it's not really a big deal now so this has finished the download okay so I'm opening up the WinRAR and it has a folder here that says more gates I'm going to go to my X4 uh, folder and go to the extensions you will have an extensions folder whether you bought the game on Steam or GOG it does not matter that extensions folder exists or is supposed to exist anyway you're going to drag and drop the more gates mod like so and that's it the mod is installed now we're going to jump back in I'm going to restart X4 and I will show you that the mod is currently active and is working stick with me for maybe one more minute okay so now we are back in the game and as you can see I have highlighted sorry I've highlighted the mod that we have just downloaded this is the more gates mod as you can see the name of the file the folder and the mod itself it is set to on it is labeled white this means that it has no incompatibilities and no problems with either the game or any other mod that is currently running in the background what will you see if there is a mod that has any sort of problem you will see that the it says here current game version is not supported highest game version supported is 5.10 so the game automatically tells me what mods can work with, with my current game version and what mods do not work with my current game version and also if I highlight uh, for instance two mods that conflict with one another then they will be labeled you will see their names their label turn from white to red so you'll be able to know exactly what is conflicting with what and you'll be able to troubleshoot it a lot easier and faster than most games where you simply drop mods into the mod folder and something is conflicting with one another and the game does not load very well and you have to erase everything and start adding mods one by one checking to see who's the problematic mod so the game really helps you a lot with this and makes it a lot easier to troubleshoot any problem you had with mods and most of the mods by the way that you're seeing here there are a lot of them most of them almost all of them are working with one another so I can have almost all of them working at once and they will be working correctly and kinda slow down the game a little bit but they are working with one another so most of the mods for X4 are compatible with one another so you have, can uh, have a game with as much as 20 or 30 mods running in the background no problem uh, so this is the end of this tutorial like and subscribe if you haven't already the entire idea of this video came from someone who wrote me a comment in one of my other X4 videos about him not both getting interested, being interested 
in the mods I'm showcasing but not knowing where to find them and how to install them even if he did found them so this entire video is just because someone asked me about it in the comments so talk to me in the comments tell me if you need anything more that I can explain to you anything that I can uh, help you out in the game uh, I will so again talk to me so this is the, the end of this tutorial and I will hopefully See you in my next videos.